Hello guys. Um, having trouble with your Google TV player? The Sony... What is this? Uh, this is actually the Sony NSZ GS7. Basically the Google TV um, box. And this is how it looks. There's a power, co power cord. Um, these are USB, uh, two USBs, Ethernet, and IR blaster input, optical um, out, and HD in, and HD out. And basically, I'm having some problems with this box because it's, for some reason, because I unplugged it, I unplugged the HDMI. I think it froze or did something to it uh, because I was playing with a different box. Uh, it happens sometimes. So the the way to fix it is to restart the device or reboot it to factory um, or do a factory reset. And the way to do it is to unplug it. So you unplug it. And in the front, basically in the bottom, this is the front, as you can see. And on the bottom, there is a connect. It says connect them on the, on the label for this button. And basically, you just hold it. You can use one hand and use the other one to connect the power. So you're holding it, and then you connect the power, and you keep on holding. Okay. And then Okay, so I think I messed up. Now let's do it again. So basically, you you unplug from the electricity. Wait a little bit, and then you grab a pen. Make sure it's hold. It's pressed, and there you go. And then you keep on holding. As you can see, my television recognizes it. And I'm waiting for a factory reset screen. It should come up. It doesn't take that long. There it goes. Okay, so this is the screen that we're looking for. So there it is. And we can just... Uh, by, by, by hitting the button again, you can move through the menu. And you can do upgrades of the firmware and stuff like that. Like if for some reason your firmware is messed up, you want to um, re reinstall it. I'm not sure where to find them actually, the firmware, so, but they should be out there. And this is what we want to do. So you press the button, the connect button again and hold it. And... So it's asking you, factory reset and unpair remote control, all um, setting data will be erased. So it, it would erase everything, basically. Are you sure? And I'm sure because this box is not working, actually. So I'm just going to reset it. Oops. So you hold it. Okay, so it's taking some time. And once you get to that screen... then you should be good because it's going to restart the whole uh, system, the Google, the Android system. It takes some time, so let's wait for it. So it looks like it's, I think it's done already. So go back again to your um, box and see if you can navigate the menu. See, you can navigate now, so I think it's done. So what I'm going to do is just reboot the system now. Oops. And hopefully this... Um, fixes the
the problem that I was having. So it looks like it did work. Okay, so we're waiting for the Google TV startup screens. Mm. I'm not sure what's going on. It just made a sound, but... Hopefully it's working. <laughs> Okay, I did something weird right now. So Alright, so I'm going to try and do it again. Hopefully this time it works. Okay, so this is the second time, and I've done this before actually. Last time I think uh, the update messed up, and that's why I had to reboot. This time I'm not sure what happened. I think it's because I disconnected HDMI, the HDMI cable.
and nothing is happening. We're just waiting. I'm not sure what's going on. It's not working at all. Uh, Sony, Sony, Sony.
Try service mode. Oh crap. How did I get out? They own nothing. You know what? I got no patience for this. Let's do it again. Mm -hmm. 